Hi friends, we have another patron pick this week, and it is yet again a movie that I've never heard of. <laughs> it's called The Kid Detective. Never heard of her. <laughs> the only thing that I do know is when I was looking it up, I saw that the kid from The O.C. is in it. The one that we all loved. Seth. Adam Brody, I think. And that's enough to put me in a hopeful mood for this movie because I love him. He's so charming and so funny, and so I hope we'll have a good time. So let's get into it. Thank you for being a friend. Oh, cute music. You know I love that. <laughs> I got some troubles doing all my job. Is something bad gonna happen? No, is this person gonna abduct her? That car's going too slow. It's weird. Y'all. <laughs> Run, bitch. No. No waves. All right. Well, we had fun for about five seconds. Are you still in bed? <laughs> no. I've been up for a while. Me every morning. <laughs> Are we hungover? <laughs> we brought you some groceries. Oh, good parents. You should clean his house for him. <laughs> he definitely living like a kid, huh? Got his parents looking out for him. Can't clean up after himself. Not waking up until 3 p.m. <laughs> I had a big case last week. Really? What was it? This gay guy wanted me to find out whether another guy was gay. <laughs> How'd you find that out? Oh. I used to be loved. I used to be a kid detective. Solved the case of the missing fundraiser money. It was Rory Beans, the neighborhood knucklehead. <laughs> In the beginning, I ran my trade out of a treehouse. It was Clive Cunningham. How do you know? He's the only one allergic to peanuts. I would always spot the bad guy. It was the bald man. <laughs> the town raised enough money to set me up with a real office. The mayor's daughter, Gracie, was my secretary. <gasps> oh, Gracie? Is that the girl that got abducted? He's in with Principal Irwin. Somebody stole a cash box from the school fundraiser. Rory Beans was bit by a dog last summer. Look at him. What a little cutie. Looking for evidence in a house. And then you hear the owner come home. So you have to hide. Keep seeming like they're going to open the closet. But they don't. And then you <laughs> sneeze and give yourself away. Oh my god, that's adorable. <laughs> I love the aesthetic of this little town. Only like when he's talking about it from a kid perspective. Clearly as an adult, it is grungy, rundown, dirty, filthy, nasty. But as a child, everything was magical. You're always meeting cute boys. It's driving me up the wall. Oh, is this the case that he didn't solve? And thus his downfall? Oh. How much longer do you think it'll take you to find Gracie? Oh, that's so unfair. I mean, I get why anybody would think that he would be able to solve it if he solves everything else in the world, but. So we'll clear your stools and call me back. You have to stop torturing yourself. She knows you're thinking about her. Yeah, unless she's dead. She's probably not dead though, right? Like that's gonna be the whole thing. Maybe. <laughs> she might she be might dead. dead. Where the hell are you? It's Sunday. No, it's not. All the magic for sure gone. <laughs> Car alarms and people shouting, yeah. But that's just the exchange into adulthood. But maybe he'll be able to figure shit out and bring the color back to this little town. The widow Gulliver was here, but she got tired of waiting. Is she coming back? <laughs> Still going for free ice cream? Stop. Thank you. It's sad and cute at the same time. Not her body. Oh, bitch, not her body. You know what's going on. If I can piece it together, you sure as shit can. There's a girl in your office. Who is she? I don't know. Hello, this is your job, ma'am. <laughs> Lucy forgot to get your name. Caroline. Could you bring Caroline a bottle of water? From where? The store. Are you serious? <laughs> I love the secretary. Who's that? That's me and Mayor Gulliver. Isn't he the one who hung himself? I love her. <laughs> Somebody murdered my boyfriend. Oh, shit. Not another murder. He was stabbed 17 times. We don't take on murder cases. 
you hear about that kid? The one they found in the river a couple weeks ago? Oh, so not the girl's body. Seems like the police are getting nowhere with the local youth, so. Seriously? Yeah, did some work for a few years back. Yeah, but like a missing brooch and a murder are such different things. I solved the case of the missing time capsule when I was 12 years old. The mayor gave me the key to the fucking city. <laughs> It's sad how, like, just kind of delusional it is, you know? There are all these little things that he was given as a child, like free ice cream, the key to the city, you know? And so now he thinks he's just, like, this fucking genius. And is he? Probably not. Is he gonna luck into solving this? Probably. Is it possible he was involved in something dangerous? He would never do drugs. Gambling? No, he would never gamble. Something, though. He had the highest grades in our year. Everybody has secrets. No matter how simple a case may seem. He was under a lot of pressure, so got into the wrong crowd. I'm gonna play detective this whole time. I hope that's okay. Will I be bad at it? Probably. He was a lot more complicated than he allowed you to believe. He used to collect bottle caps. He had thousands. It was compulsive. He had a concubine. He would brag about the stuff she did. Put her hand on his penis. <laughs> He had a picture hidden in his locker. She was wearing a tiger mask. All she was wearing. Poor Caroline. I'd stop trying to solve the murder. Buck him. I kept finding these origami roses in my locker. How'd you know they were from him? He was the only agent in her school. Caroline, Caroline. Then we gotta break into the school. Why? I wanna look for that photograph. What's that noise? Must be the overnighters. Sorry? The kids who hide out at the school over the weekend? No. The two days you don't have to be there, you spend there. <sighs> Cops already cleared it. I still have his jacket. Oh, <laughs> oh thank God. Are they not ibuprofen? Oh, we found a clue, y'all. What's up, Apple oh, Bum? You know what these are? They're called ego boosters. They improve your self esteem. Looks like you guys could use some. Tell me who the supplier is, I'll give you the whole bottle. Candy store. Hepburn's candy store. Yeah, it's been selling for years. Everything magic is is ruined. I told him I had a headache. Okay, what happened next? I bought this ice cream. It was too awkward. Good job, Caroline. Oh, no. He just open palm slapped that boy. <laughs> is a supplier! The red shoe gang! Can I make you feel like a big man to beat up a kid? Yes! <laughs> we need to talk about Patrick Chang. No. <laughs> At least there was confidence for a minute or two. It's been two weeks, and the police haven't offered any clarity. Do you keep a lot of fruit in your kitchen? When he was a kid, he loved peaches. And in the weeks before his death? He ate a lot of bananas. Which means no mess. You see where I'm going with this? No. no. <laughs> I think he may have been depressed. Our son wasn't depressed. I found these in his jacket. These do not belong to our boy. Does mom know something? Huh? Was that a look of, she knows something? Does mom know something? I think she's about to spill the beans. Lay it out on the table, ma. We need to know. He was a very private boy. Didn't even know about Caroline until she called us after his death. It's difficult to accept that you didn't know everything when you've loved someone so thoroughly. Ouchie. Oh. I will not rest until this case is solved. Don't promise that. Yeah, dude, horrible idea. Cause we all know what happened the last time. What? I think I found that tiger. Social media. Keep telling you to get with the times. How much was Patrick paying you? It wasn't like that. Patrick and I had some very deep conversations. He was very concerned about the environment. Ever have any arguments? No. The Red Shoe Gang had no reason to hurt him as long as he kept his grades up. Everyone had to submit their locker codes to the office as a result of all the drugs in the school. The principal could open them at any time. Pliers had to recruit kids who were above suspicion. Oh. What's the matter? The car. It was with us at Patrick's house. Do you think they're following us? Yes. Ooh. I love that it's such like unassuming, non-scary vehicle that's following them. <laughs> it could be anyone. <laughs> what the hell are <laughs> Mom and Dad. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> he looks tough and scary to her. <laughs> Reporters for the local paper. He's such a little skis liar. Your parents seem pretty cool. Let's go, sir, Dad. How did they die? Downhill skiing. 
This movie really likes to take some serious shit and then be like, but let's make it funny. You know, you're not allowed on school property to talk about Patrick Chang. It can't be serious. His girlfriend hired me. I'll help you with yours. You help me with mine. Deal. Shake hands. Found some broken beakers in a science lab. Overnighters. Kids who stay at the school over the weekend. Oh, he seems so tired. I was warned that he might be mixed up in something. Was he tall and ugly? Reportedly and pathetic. He was a bit heavy. Yes. These kids have no concept of authority. I don't know, dude. As he answers, I don't know, dude. Also no concept of authority. <laughs> but it also might have something to do with how tired and warm down you seem. One can see how much love and violence I have inside my soul. Calvin, you good, bud? And I'm the one who really sees her, who knows what she's worth. Is Calvin in love with Caroline? No, that's too obvious, right? That's motive, motherfucker. It's probably way off track. Don't sneeze, bitch. Calvin, don't do anything personal right now. Also, I love that there's like an extreme gaming sign and he's fucking playing Pong. <laughs> Calvin, come down here, please. Oh, bitch. Ooh, oh. This can't go well, right? This can't possibly. I need to pee. <laughs> not another closet. You're not doing great, bud. You're really, really not doing great. Oh my god. This fucking family. <laughs> I think I heard something in the closet. Too old for all this monster nonsense. Oh god, you're gonna traumatize this poor girl for the rest of her life. <laughs> I was investigating the older brother. Which, he didn't even really find any evidence against. He found a piece of notebook paper that really doesn't explain anything. And his computer password was Caroline's name. But that's not evidence of a murder. This has to stop, babe. Gracie was not your responsibility. You can't run around calling yourself a detective and expect everyone else to play along. <laughs> I mean, valid point. <laughs> but at a certain point, we've all got to grow up. I'm in full support of Abe not really growing up. I'm in full support of him looking at the world and being like, holy shit, this sucks as an adult. <laughs> I want that magic back. I support that. It was the maid. Was he wrong? He's lost his touch. I found another paper flower. Origami is Japanese. He probably just took credit for it because he started talking to him. I'm such a racist. <laughs> well, then who's making them? Probably Calvin. He's in love with it. Baby, that's not evidence for that. That can be twist turned, looked at in, from any direction. Wait, she's the mayor's daughter and the mayor hung himself? Do you, did the mayor do something to his daughter? Cause she like waved and walked over to the car like she knew who it was, right? Is that possible? Are these your parents? They're very photogenic. <laughs> It's difficult to accept the difference between who you are in your head and who you are in the world. I know what you mean. People act like I've never seen a restricted movie before. Or Damn, Caroline. She's got Edge, a restricted movie. That girl left it for you the other day. Poor Calvin. Where's the paper from? I don't know. I don't understand how this relates back to Gracie. They're not coming from Calvin. I'm not smart enough, I guess. I don't know who they're coming from, though. Have you found my cat yet? I actually completely forgot about that. <laughs> I'm here to talk about your daughter. House hasn't been touched since Bert died. She's the murderer? She killed Gracie and probably your husband? <laughs> no, Gracie's still alive. Do you know where this came from? My brain, bitch. She never said anything about a secret admirer. Who could keep track? The principal at the high school? I'm trying to think of people that are old enough to have and have access to the school. And we're probably something that Gracie knew because she walked over to the car so willingly, like waved and then was like, you know, the principal? Why don't you just apologize? Don't force him to steal the fundraiser money. He didn't do it, man. Why do you think he hates you so much? Baby, you're just not a good detective. <laughs> Everyone had to submit their locker codes to the office. I felt like there was this other presence watching over me. I need you to check the date on the first Rory Beans case. There's a chance he was set up. Where we going? Where we going? Oh, 
She do be naked. What the fuck? But who would have had access to all that shit except for the principal, right? Don't hide in the closet. You know better. You know better. I know you're in the closet. I'm under the bed. Uh -huh. Why aren't you at school? It's Sunday. That's the principal, right? Do you remember the first case you ever brought me? Am I a detective? You were just testing me, weren't you? Trying to see how my head worked. Why would I care to do that? Gracie was kidnapped a week later. Bitch, you've been found out. Are you the bad guy? <laughs> That's such a sweet childlike way to ask that question. I love that. Found the picture you stole from Patrick's locker. He thought it was Caroline. Oh. It wasn't. Oh, that was a confession, right? She used to stop by my office just to show me her outfits. Okay. You should appreciate the relativity of age. No, holding on to a childhood dream is different than ignoring age. What happened to her? I don't want to know. I don't want to know. She didn't last long after I gave our daughter away. Is Caroline her daughter? I can't have a newborn suddenly appear on- And that's why her parents are so photogenic? It was just from a magazine or some shit? But I knew they wouldn't ask any questions. I took something beautiful, but I gave something back. No. Nah. Oh, kill him. Kill him. I was relieved when I first heard they were dating. You're a fucking psychopath. Congratulations, Abe. You've solved your first murder. He's gonna kill you. Please tell me you came prepared, Abe. There's a reason I always obliged you, Abe. We both know how it feels when nobody takes you seriously. Now they'll know what we were capable of. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, bitch. Stop. Stop. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> oh, I don't want to go in there. I don't want to go in there. I don't. What the fuck? I don't have words for that. I don't fucking have words for that. I found her. My cat is a boy. She's too scared to talk to me. Holy shit. It was Ellis Irwin, the evil principal. <laughs> I can't believe she was still fucking alive. I was the kid detective who never gave up. The widow Gulliver called me a hero. I think her cat is probably dead though. <laughs> It was like the whole town returned to color overnight. Maybe because it's your own perception of reality. Even Lucy started looking at me differently. <laughs> Look at how clean his house is. Y'all, he got a button-up shirt. He's awake. So tidy. I hired a cleaning lady. Oh, that's fine. Whatever you need to do to get it done. You seem tired. I want him to be okay. Why isn't he okay? I thought he would be good like after, after solving it. Are you all right? <laughs> What's the matter? I don't like that it's ending on such a sad note. I don't like that at all. We watched him essentially go from being a failed detective and dealing with the battles of having forever blamed himself for Gracie's disappearance. And then like, he came around and he solved the murder and his business was booming, his house was clean, but ultimately he's still like a kid. Not that you have to be a kid to cry. It just kind of seemed like he was reverting back to a kid-like state, which may be happening simply because he was just so bottled up for so long and so shut off from the rest of the world and he finally was opened back up to reality and he's just feeling it for the first time. I don't know. I think that one was a lot of fun. I wasn't expecting it to take quite to the serious turn that it did there at the end. Room slash lovely bones. <laughs> but not mad about it. Happy that I did eventually piece together the killer prior to it being told to us. I will be taking my detective badge in the mail.